We are captives to a system that is based on the exploitation of humans for money. Hmm. It's ironic. A free society started for the people and by the people who is meant to uphold all of our civil liberties and justices and human rights, yet at the same time is so far in their efforts to attain as much wealth as possible that they completely disregard all of those established rights and liberties and rules. And so we find ourselves sort of in a vortex and a place of confusion and lost entity in which our autonomy is no longer existence. And we have no control over what we can do and what we cannot. Our bosses have control over us. The government has control over our lives. Credit card companies have control of our bills. And our freedom is non-existent. And I live in a world with a lot of bad things going on. You live in that world too. And we can't deny that. That's something that is undebatable. I am alive and you are alive and we are all alive. And you are watching this video, which, which means that you are socially conscious to some extent, right? <laughs> we have to create a better world. The world's not going to create a better world for itself. And I don't want to fall into a movement of quietism. And quietism is when a person um, disregards any involvement in anything because he says that other people will resolve that situation. Yet if you are not the one to partake in such a revolution, in such a transformation and reformation, then who will? If you are not the one to bring about change and create, then nobody will. This is your time, and I believe that all the negative occurring situations all around the world can be rectified if you just let go of your apathy, see the bigger picture, and start to really care. To care about yourself, about your friends, about your family, about the broad concerns of all humanity. You see, we are all interconnected. You're interconnected, I'm interconnected. We're interconnected with the plants, the rocks, the animals, other people, other cultures, other civilizations. It's undeniable. And when we truly start to see this, and, stru and truly start to experience the intertwinedness of each other, and that we learn to respect and understand and appreciate, then maybe things can change. No, you know what? I'm positive that things can change. We just have to get off all of our seats, get off of our computers, and do something. Whatever action, big, small, dynormous, gigantic, doesn't matter. We have to do something. Because if not, then nothing will be done.